Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Monday, April 14th, 2014. Okay, on tap for today is retail sales at 8.30 which has a red star which could be market impacting. And looking at the futures right now, um, this has to be really good number I think to get the futures to move in the other direction of what they are right now because it's pretty red. Uh, at this moment business inventories at 10 o'clock not as market affecting and that's for today all right uh, futures across the sea well, not the futures but actually the uh, indexes so far at the close of the day are pretty close to it Asia is mixed with about half up and half down and over in Europe uh, we are right across the board and a lot of these are around 1%, one's actually at 2%. That is not good. That's a pretty heavy um, bearish day over there for them. However, in the U.S., when I will take a look at that, we are looking pretty red. Now, um, down 40 at the open, that's pretty hard to recover from. I'm not saying it can't be done, but it's a difficult uh, hole to climb out of. So we're looking at about a quarter of a percent down at the open. Gold is up $6.40, and that's why I have this up here, because I was checking to see, well, what can I do now? I believe this was $0.34 cents last week. I'm, I'm not certain about that, but I think it was. So we're looking, you know, once the, once it starts trading, this number straightens out a little bit. And it may improve, may not improve. Gold may have a very good day or it may not. Oil is at 103.81. And I know, I think like last Friday it was over 104. Or over, maybe that was last night. I think it was over 104 last night. We could take a look at a chart right quick on that. Let's sneak over and look at one. Okay, uh, yeah, see, it was over a dollar four last night, or sometime overnight. But it's pulled back a little bit, so that's kind of a good thing. We were at a high, recent high here of 105.05, but that's not the highest on this chart. And I end up with average true range in here. I'm going to shut that off. I'll get the plot there. There. Okay. Um, squish these down. Squish this one down. Squish this one down. Okay. Yeah. That's what it looks like. <laughs> okay. So let's take a look at how the guru did last week. Um, here's our results. This is uh, Apple, which was, um, I think that was, well, yeah. Pulled a nice profit out of that one, our first trade in F5 Network since we added it to the A-plus list uh, was a bummer. And then we had the TLT, which was really a 20 delta trade, but still using the um, CSS V2 logic for that. So we ended up uh, only $97 up, but we were up, and that is always a good thing. So we're looking at after commissions 1302 for the year after that disastrous February and part of March. Okay, um, let me see here. I'm just going to save this thing. Okay, we're done with that. Now let's get on to our scan for today. Uh, must be a dividend here. Go to the monitor tab. So we're still in Amazon and Priceline on uh, CSS V2 trades. And we still have a couple of hangers on here from some calendars. 
Yeah, this is the Google Calendar. It's down to two negative two ninety five. Was down as far as four fifty right after they had this weird stock manipulation by the owners, is what I would call it. And then the CVX calendar where we need it to really, really move. Um, it may not. We'll have to see how that one works out. All right, let's start out with Apple. I take this off of here. Okay, so Apple uh, did not have a good day Friday, but it was pretty range bound and ended up closing very close to its open. Opened here closed here some movement during the day for you day traders but not much not as much as uh, most people would like to see days like this oh man are sweet and these two days are sweet too but if you hold overnight and you were short that was a good day but enough about that so where are we in the realm of We have an alertable situation here. If we're saying that we are in a downtrend, and I guess we could, and we did here for sure. We already had a trade here. Um, then uh, that's a good thing. So we have an alertable situation. If we go, I don't know about going below this one. Yeah, we can go below that one. So I'll throw an alert there at or below. I think we might have a lot of alerts today and setups. We'll see though. All right, let's go over to Amazon. All right, uh, Amazon, we are in it right now. It's looking pretty good. So we're happy with that. Boeing. Uh, Boeing, we missed this opportunity and didn't give us another entry. So I need to put this up here like this. Yeah, risk profile. There we go. Uh, Baidu, nothing alive there. Um, we did not get in this. Um, we had, a, I think, we had an alert on this on Friday. This would have been an alertable situation on Friday, so not remembering exactly what I did. Did I put an alert on there? Check my notes here. Uh, yes. And I uh, didn't like the movement in the morning when I looked at it, so I left it alone. So it's still a valid trade. I'm going to throw an alert on here. Because it's only the second day, or this is going to be the third day on this one. First day, second day, today will be the third day. So we're willing to um, add that one to our list for today. Alright, sell gene. Um... So here's the deal on Celgene. It didn't really get up here uh, up to the 70 as a minimum and 80 preferably. Uh, it's a very tempting trade. This is definitely a 20 delta. And we were looking at this on Friday as a setup. And uh, again, like a lot of uh, a lot of uh, underlines on our A plus list, we had kind of a surge in the morning and then a pullback in the afternoon. We have a lot of uh, very narrow open close ranges here on uh, a lot of the underlines on the A plus list, which made it a little confusing for um, for the at least at the open. I didn't take a look later on during the day. Uh, I was also busy closing a bunch of stuff, so um, 
I would consider this as a 20 delta trade for today. So let's take a look. If we were to do one for this week, if there's anything in it. Actually, we have a lot of good choices here. We have $1 spread. So if we were to pick this one at 143, um, that's $18. If I change this to 145, that's 33. That's not quite double, but pretty close to it. So I do like a $2 spread on this one. And that, that would be at 143. So um, let's take a look on a chart. 143 is up here. I think that that's a pretty safe trade for this week. Alright, Chipotle, we were looking at this one last week, as I believe this was a, yes, we had an alert on this one, um, definitely a low open, and then it did nothing at, when I was looking at it again, moving up, so I took a pass on it, uh, as it turns out. We had the MACD go green. So for right now, I think they have earnings this week, so I'm going to stay away from that. Uh, and I will be, uh, I think, pretty sure I'm going to be able to get to the video on earnings plays today. So watch for that uh, either tonight or tomorrow morning. All right. Um, so nothing going there for right now. We're looking for it. To come back, it gets, it's kind of, uh, here's the thing, you know, when, when we have a new direction in the trend and we really don't have um, a turn on the 50 SMA, but we do have one on the exponential. So it kind of anticipates or it leads this one. So there's a good possibility that the 50 SMA is going to start bending down and getting going red on us, but we don't know. We have earnings coming up the end of this week, so we have to be kind of careful on that one. So we're just going to uh, put that one aside and see how it works out, and maybe we might do an earnings play on it. And if we were to look back historically on Chipotle at earnings, um, They've been having some, that's three big, nice pops in a row. Here's another one. Is it going to continue? So that's four positive earnings reports in a row. Anybody want to take a bet against that? That it's not going to be five? That it might disappoint? You never know. There's probably, I think there's a good probability that that may happen. All right, Costco. Uh, Costco, yes. This was another one. Um, let's go back here and look at Friday. We did have an alert on this. It triggered. I stayed away from it. Probably a good thing. So I probably would have gotten in somewhere on this candle here. And we might be in trouble, but you know what? It, it would only be in trouble for today because it's entirely possible this may open down. Who knows? Anything can happen. So, um, it's still, in reality, it's still alertable today. So, anything below this previous open is an alert for me. So here we go. And this is the last day that I would want to get in on this one. CVX. Okay, we have the calendar. We're looking for it to get down here. It's not going to get down there. There's no way. Unless the world ends. Uh, so we're just going, there's no play on that one. It's pretty flat right now. Uh, it's going to stay away from it. All right, let's look at the Dow. Um, not so hot for the Dow. 
let's see here. Any major supports or anything like that? Well, we have a the previous low is back here at 153, so that would be a very solid support area. Um, One fifty three we were talking about. And it's pretty close to being a support area back here. Uh one forty eight, one forty seven. Yeah, one forty seven seems to um play pretty heavily. That would be more of a support area. So I'm gonna put a note here. Alright, so there's my note. We'll see how that works out. Igor. Ah, yes, it did have a dividend for today. Um, nothing going on here from a CSSV2 perspective. Support resistance here around 97. All right, FedEx. This was an old calendar. Let's see here we got this is four and a half cents. So there's nothing going on with April. And I was looking at, you know, can I do some other trades on this? Don't really see anything. If I was to look at the calendar, we didn't get up here, so nothing going on that one. F5 networks. See, this would have played out. You play your odds. Oh no, <laughs> the arrow's pointing up. Ugh. Um, uh, we have a new trend direction here. So we're going to go and put a target in. Come and get me. Come and get my little white dot. We have uh, lore highs and lower lows pretty apparent if you ask me gold yeah okay gold is in a new uptrend or it still is in an uptrend so we need to move this down here and we need to let that one simmer a little while. Google L or Google. Um, we're still good on this. This was another one that was had an alert on it that triggered. And my phone was going crazy that morning. So um, yeah, I won't. I'm not going to tell that story. Forget it. Um, so this is still alertable. So we're going to go below the low and throw an alert on there. All right, we're gonna run a little bit behind today. IWM, uh, we were thinking about a 20 delta on this last week, and again, when I looked at it in the morning, it was moving up, took a pass on it. Um, Still, it, this is alertable too. So I'm going to throw another alert on here. I believe this was in our 20 delta column last week. LinkedIn, which has been a very nice, this is alertable, which has been a very nice, making a very nice move for me. Um, so we have a lot of alerts for today as well. All right, 3M. Uh, confusion. Um, we don't have concurrence or confirmation here. We have a lot of conflicting indicators so we're going to stay away from that one Netflix 
Nyt de flux. Okay, this is uh, one, two. All right, this is alertable. Alertable on here. Okay, price line. Okay, we have our 20 delta trade in on this one. We're not doing anything there. The Qs, let's take a look at NASDAQ. NASDAQ is looking pretty weak. Okay, we have... Well, we could probably do a 20 delta on this thing too. So I'm going to throw alert on there. I'm sure it's going to trigger based on the futures. I'm throwing it in the 20 delta column though. Spiders. Uh, let's see here. This is another 20 delta. I will put an alert on this. Below the low this morning. If it continues down. Okay. That's a 20 delta trade. And I'm not sure which expiration. I usually don't like to do, there's usually not enough money, I should say, in these 20 deltas if they're only five days. Usually have to let them work out a little bit in order to get, I don't like to go more than, more than like a 20, I mean a um, 20 cents on the dollar for risk. So I got 20 cents, 80, 80 cent risk to make 20 cents, or a that's a one to four, or um, four to one, I should say, risk reward. I'm working this out in my head. Four to one with risk reward, or five to one risk reward on 20 deltas. So in this case, uh, on, on the spiders, just to give you an example, um, we have, if I was to go a dollar spread, I would want <clears throat> to do a trade that's going to give me 20 cents. So let's just say for this Friday, sell a vertical, that only gives me 14 cents. I would want to, in order to make a one, 5 to 1, I would need 20 cents. So I may have to go out to the next expiration, which would be next week. So there's my 20 cents. Wait, 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 wait. I said a dollar spread, didn't I? Okay, that's actually 36. So if we go to this Friday, that's 27 cents. So at 184, that would be up here. Uh, that's okay with me. So that would give me my um, pretty close to 4 to 1 risk reward. So that's what I mean by that. All right, back to TLT. <clears throat> All right, so the calendar worked out well. And the um, 20 Delta, I closed, I, clo I closed that one early. So I got out of that one already. Okay, so if we went over here, and then I went and said seven. Let's see here. Let's do uh, 30 days. Okay, the calendar's not in this account. Let's go to this account. 30 days. Okay, so um, on the 14th, I paid 10 cents for that calendar and it closed it Friday. Yes. For 31 cents. So I made 21 cents on that. So that one worked out good. So we're back to our chart here and we don't have anything. So we have a new target down here. All right, moving right along Tesla. Tesla is still in an uptrend. Um, so in reality, we're actually looking for this. We were looking for a trend reversal play 
in anticipation of a trend reversal, but I don't think it was going to work out. We're still on an uptrend, according to that. We're just going to kind of keep an eye on this. I don't see anything. I'm a little concerned about it. We have, um, we're at 201 at the open so far here, so we're just going to sit back and watch that one. Um, Union Pacific. Uh, looks like we might be in a new downtrend here. So we're just going to keep an eye on that one. And last but not least is Visa. Uh, Visa is in a downtrend. It failed to get up to our 70 mark. So we're going to have to slide this over and wait for the next one. All right. We're at the end of the list. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and above all, happy trading.